For centuries, the Turkana people of northern Kenya have lived and herded on arid land. Originally nomadic pastoralists, they have long relied on animals for their livelihood. But the climate here is changing. The once reliable rains have become erratic and the droughts more frequent, threatening the culture and survival of one of Kenya's most traditional tribes. For Chalice Esne, the death of his goats has meant the loss of his livelihood. With no money to restock his herd and no education to get a job in the nearby town of Lodwar, Charles and his wife now make money the only way they can, by cutting down and burning trees to make charcoal. Selling for just one dollar a bag, it's tough for this family of six to make ends meet. It's also dangerous work. Both Mokomio and her two-year-old son have sustained severe burns. And scientists would argue that cutting down Turkana's few remaining trees is only fueling the problem. Land degradation is causing herders to fight over the few remaining resources and even to steal from each other. Kandonle Akamis lost everything to raiders. The attack rendered Kandonle both penniless and infirm. Forced to give up her traditional nomadic lifestyle, she now lives in a settlement and relies on food aid. Her son operates a kiosk to provide for his family. To determine how to alleviate the suffering of the Turkana people, the Climate Change Adaptation in Africa program, which is funded by the British Department of International Development and the Canadian International Development Research Centre, in partnership with Practical Action, conducted research on the ground. When we did the research, the communities expressed the need for more water facilities. And one thing they preferred was the construction of water pans. The reason for water pans was to reduce distance moved from the grazing fields to the river, main river where they can access water. And uh, that's why this water pan was constructed. Built in 2009 near the village of Kapus, the water pan quickly collected enough rain to provide drinking water to the settlement and to the surviving animals. Aipa was lucky. His goats have so far survived to Kana's crippling droughts. And with the addition of the new water pan, his family is hopeful that they will continue to thrive. It now takes Ekai and his goats just an hour on foot to reach water. 
The short walk expends less energy and leaves Ekai and his animals less vulnerable to attack. The community is using the water pond, a strategic reserve really during the drought season. The Turkana people are now adopting several new initiatives to help them cope with the changing climate. Many have traded in their traditional cattle for more drought-resistant animals like goats and camels. Hearty cereals such as sorghum that require little water are being planted to feed the new settlements. And the town of Lobe has even installed a solar panel. Turkana is quite placid with the sun. At one time a survey was done and it was established that the intensity of the sunlight in Turkana uh, is so high and it provides a good resource for solar energy. We discussed with the community and came up with the, the solar pump uh, as a source of energy to pump water from a porehole to supply the, the community. <laughs> In the face of a changing ecosystem, the Turkana are proving their resilience time and time again and demonstrating that adaptation to climate change is ingrained in their community's way of life. The hope is that stories such as these can inspire others to follow suit. Turkana people came to this situation of pastoralism about 500,000 years ago. Pastoralism is a very dynamic uh, way of life and um, it tends to cope and adapt to the changes that emerge. I think the strategies of keeping livestock will slightly change and uh, people continue to exploit the natural resources by keeping livestock. Many people have said that uh, pastoralism might disappear over the next few years. I tell you, pastoralism will not disappear.